Welcome back. Britney Spears has legally lost physical custody of her two children. So what does she need to do to get them back? Let's turn right to MSNBC senior legal analyst Susan Filan. She's here with the story. Susan. Hi, Mika. Hey. Well, Kevin Federline becomes a full-time dad later today when he and the pop star phase off in court again over custody of their two sons. These are the latest pictures of two-year-old Sean Preston and one-year-old Jaden James being pushed around by their nanny yesterday. Meanwhile, TMZ.com caught the pop princess checking into the Beverly Hills Hotel Monday, just hours after the judge made his ruling. So what should Britney Spears' next move be to get her kids back? Joining us now is New York family law attorney, attorney Sherry Donovan, author of the book, Hit Them Where It Hurts. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Susan. Legal analysts have said that in order for Britney to get her sons back, she's going to have to comply with all the judge's orders, including submitting to random urines, having certified nannies, attending parenting classes, providing that uh, she's got a driver's license, showing she's a responsible parent. Do you think she can do this? And do you think this will cut it with the judge? Will she get her kids back if she shows this? She has to show a long-term commitment over sustained time and definitely follow the judge's orders to a T. That's where she lost custody the first time, is that she violated the judge's order two weeks ago about the drug testing, drug counseling, and parenting classes. But Sherry, once you lose the court's confidence and their overriding concern is best interest of the children and they have to safeguard these children, isn't it a huge uphill battle for a mom to get her kids back? In this case, because she's under the public eye and her images in inappropriate positions are shown all over the TV, it makes it more difficult. But I have seen case and as cases, and I've had cases, where particularly if the drug and alcohol tests are clean, that's the first step to having overnights, what which then leads to more time. What about the fact that she checks into this posh hotel just after she loses her kids? Isn't she sending a message? She's kind of relieved she couldn't handle being a mom, and she doesn't want to be a mom. She's overwhelmed. Um, I don't know what she wants, but she's overwhelmed. If she gets herself straight, then she can have the skills to take care of the children. So she has a long road, and she has to be committed to cleaning herself up and then being there for the children. But the children. And real quickly, what happens? Yes. Real quickly, what happens if, if Brittany's lost custody, and it turns out KFED's not such a great dad? What's this? What are the court's options? Real quickly. Absolutely, they can take the kids away from both. I keep saying, where are the grandparents? Yeah. Thank Where you, the Sherry. Thank Appreciate you. it. Mika, back to you. You know, okay. and I'm thinking, you know, at some point, and I know she's a grown woman, but she's got to get out of the spotlight because all this attention is intrinsic in, in what is her reality, which is her life being a train wreck. I think she's addicted to attention. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you get a lot of it. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Good or bad, right? Yeah, no, I'm serious. I just, ugh. All right, Susan, thank Thanks, you very Mika. much. I, I hope this works out in some positive way. Yeah. We'll see you in For a bit. For the kids. Yeah. yeah. All right, storms are popping up in several parts of the country today. Let's check in now with NBC.